Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful example video here on our beautiful C++ channel. Uh, today we're going to make a little bigger, longer program here. Um, we're going to have a, a little game which we're going to use vectors in. We're going to be using some iterator stuff, which are pointers. Uh, we're going to be using a lot of functions and just straight up just a, a fun thing, fun game to play. Okay, so I've already taken some, you know, uh, steps here to add random. We're going to need random, string, and vector. Okay, uh, C time, string, vector, and I stream. And what we need is some points for a game. And what we are going to need is a string uh, called choice, color choice. All right, this is just set up. You'll get all of this stuff. We're going to need two vectors, a vector for the actual random colors that are going to be in there. So we're going to have three colors at a time. Uh, three colors at a time. It's going to be empty. And we're going to have a constant vector here constant vector of string which is which we're going to initialize call container and we're going to initialize this to red green blue in capitals all right it's really important that they're in capitals because we're going to be working everything with capitals we're going to convert anything that we write in into capitals because C++ and all these strings and everything is very, they're very case sensitive, right? You cannot compare a blue and small equals to big, you know, capital letter blue. It's not the same thing. So we need to keep everything in the same uh, type or whatever you want to call it, like everything in capital so we can compare stuff later. So what we're going to need for that, we're going to need something that converts our choice for our menu choice in string to capitals because you you can write it any way you want and then it's just going to make it into capitals so we always know it's we're safe so uh, make capital and then we're going to take a string uh, str and we wanted that string to be manipulated so we use the reference variable and what you can do since a string is an array of characters you can actually loop through a string size so say we wrote red here in small letters we want to go through r e and d and make those into capitals so string at that at position zero at the first loop equals to a two upper two upper is a function you find in uh, either std or i stream or it's just it's just there you know it's really good to use and then you use str1 so you see what's happening here the same letter whatever size it is is going to be converted into a larger uh, its capital version here so you have that that's done and what we're going to need is, since we're going to play several times in a loop, we want to reset this vector here with new randomized uh, like orders for this. So this is going to keep these three, but in a random order. And the player can uh, try to guess the first one, the second one, and the third one, and see how many points they get, if they can guess it correctly. Okay, so what we need is a reset vector, or reset vec. And we're going to give it a vec. Actually, I'm just going to copy paste this. Oops, twice actually. Call cont. Okay, now this is the one time we're going to be using a, a, or the first time I think we're really using a uh, pass by value here. Because what we want is we want this here. We made it constant so we never change this. This is always here. Okay, it's our main base container for these three that we're always going to use. And we never want to change this in itself. We just want the values, right? So we're going to copy it into a new one. And we can do whatever we want with this within the function. We can delete it. We can clear it. We can pop stuff from it and stuff. But this will never change. But it will get it, get the values from this one. That's what we want. This one can change because we actually want to change the main vector here. And we want to add a random uh, series of stuff here. So uh, yeah, let's just get started. So what we're going to need is an index. Okay, and we're going to need to, uh, since Colvec might have some stuff from before, we're just going to clear it. Okay, and we're going to be popping stuff from this until it's empty, right? We're going to put one in, random, uh, one color from this into there. We're going to pop that color, we're going to go in again, get another color, put it in here until this is empty, right? So we can just make a while loop, while call cont uh, dot empty. Okay, while it's not empty, keep doing this. Okay, while it's not empty, keep doing this. So uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to say index equals a random position from this. 
okay random since we always know the size of our vectors we can use that size to uh, decide what's going on so we're going to take random call count dot size okay it's going to take that its current size is going to make 0 1 or 2 right 0 1 or 2 we're going to get 0 1 or 2 here and that's our index so call vec dot pushback pushback call count at in Decks. So it can land anywhere in between these three and put that into our call vec. And then we want to erase that specific uh, thing from our copy vector here, call cont. Sounds so weird, call container. Um, at dot erase. This is where we use our pointers. Iterators are pointers that are always pointing to one position. I'm going to explain this here. Call cont dot begin. So it's begin is always pointing at the first element in this container, in the vector, right? And then you can add something to it to jump ahead. Now you might think, why would I add something? Well, say this is the memory, okay? These three here belong to our container, okay? They have red, green, and blue. And this is some random number here, like something else in the memory, right? Things that do not, are not uh, connected to our, our array. These three are the array. And begin is pointing to the first address in that array. Okay, and there is something called end. It's pointing to the last one. But the thing is, when you add something to a pointer that is pointing to an address, you're not adding to the value in there. You're adding to the position it's at. So I can say begin plus one me does not mean this plus one. It means the next adjacent adjacent uh, uh, location in the memory, right? It's the next cell in the memory. And then plus two would be blue. If we say plus three, and we know call this, this container does not have three spaces, like, you know, or four, four in, in size, we're going to be here. And then we're going to have some major errors, right? We're outside of bounds. We're not within the container anymore. We're trying to access something that's not for our container. So we have to make sure we're in here. Okay, that's why we're using this empty, because it's not going to go past this. Okay, and the size, we're using the size because we know. And arrays, when they're stored and created in the memory, they're always ordered like this. So we can always add one to their address and jump to the next location. That's why this works. So uh, just keep that in mind. This is how this works. So we have that going. We have that going. We're good. I think this reset vec is good. Now we have to do some debugging here. Let's just say, see, uh, or what? Well, mm. Let's make a for loop. Is a call vec dot size, and we're gonna have to reset vec here, of course. Call vec, call container, and then we're just gonna just gonna print that out real quick. Like that I. I'm sorry, this is gonna take some time. I just, I just wanted to check so it's sure. Okay, red, green, blue. And then we have green, blue, red. So it's randomizing them. That's perfect. That's what we want. That's what we want. So now let's make our menu. Let's make our menu. All right. While call choice equals not equals quit, then we go here. If call choice equals play, then we do this. Okay, so that's our thing here. And we, of course, we want to get in called choice. And remember, every time we do this, we want to make capital called choice. Because if we write it in small letters, we won't be able to compare it to the large letters here, capitals, quit and play. And that's going to be a problem. We can't compare it to all these capitals here. So you want to do that. And you want to tell the user what's going on. Choice, brah. Okay, I want to tell them quit, red, green, blue. Okay, just because it's just between us. Well, you can write this more elaborate and more, or more, what do you call it, uh, much more detailed. But for me, this is fine right now for us. Uh, so it does that. And we want to reset, or we want to reset vector every time we're within, if we're playing here. So reset vec, call vec, call cont like that and then our game is going to be in here okay so what we know is that vec 
every time we reset it, we're going to have three values in here. Okay, so we can use a for loop to make sure we go through all the colors and try to guess them correctly. Okay, so what we do is a for loop call vec dot size. Okay, and in here we say, uh, we'll say, we'll say, we'll say, we'll say, we'll say, oh, wait, 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 play and play. Okay, then call choice in here is going to do something else for us. Okay. Choice bra, red, green, blue. Oh, wait, 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 we could, wait, wait, what am I doing, dude? What am I doing? See out. Uh, guess color at position I, like this. Guess color. And then we're going to be call choice. And we're going to make, make capital call choice. Okay, so it's guessing every color, one, one in a row. Well, one at a time, sorry. And then if that color call choice equals uh, call vec at position i, you do something or else uh, you say wrong. Or if you get it, we're going to add to points. We're going to add to points. Points plus plus. We're going to say correct plus one points and then end that line and we're going to go here and then play and if you quit it wait is this within the while loop that's why I have to check here is this the while oh, loop that's the if okay that's the while loop there we go and if you quit it uh, let's see well, we'll just try with this right now. We'll see what happens. So, we say play, red, green, blue. Okay, we can play again. Green, wrong. Okay, that means maybe this is green. No, then the last one has to be green. Okay, and then we quit. Okay, so every time we come here, we just want to say... Every time we come here, we want to give them the points we have. So, here. Um, uh, game. You have mm, points. Points. Okay, in that way you can just straight up keep playing and playing and playing. So let's try to play again. Let's say play. And let's say color one might be red. Wrong. Second one maybe red. Yes. Then the last one has to be any one. Maybe blue. Yeah, I have two points. Okay, I can play again. Let's say the first one is green maybe. Then maybe this one is green. And then maybe this one is blue. Okay, I have three points. And then I can just, ah, this game sucks. I'm bored. Bam, quit. Quit, 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 quit. What happens if we quit the first thing we do then? Quit. <gasps> we quit. Easy. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a pretty fun game actually. That's not too bad. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I mean, I could have used pointers in here in some way. I could have I could have made, um, somehow made uh, call choice or something a pointer here. Well, I guess we still went through pointers through this. Uh, the iterators here. Make sure to know about iterators because you're going to have to use them later in data structures and stuff like that. So iterators, if you start now, you're going to be pro at them later. They're just pointers. There's nothing special about them. They're just pointers that you can add to the memory location to jump between memory locations. Okay, remember that. When you add to pointers, you're jumping through the memory. But yeah, that's it for me, guys and girls. I hope you learned something today. I hope this was a fun program to make and create and play around with. And just uh, straight up keep working, keep working hard, you'll be great at no time, okay? Great in no time. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.